Everybody freeze. We're gonna learn about freeze patterns. In order to make our freeze patterns, we will be using translation. There are two types of freeze patterns using translation. The first one is pretty simple. It's a freeze pattern where you take your image and you slide it over. You repeat it throughout the space. So for example, here I have a green triangle and a purple triangle. That's my pattern. I'm going to slide it over and reproduce it. So all of them touch. So that means I have to look how big is my green triangle. It's two squares. So I make my new green triangle also two squares. And I look for my purple. It's one, two squares and two squares high. I do the same thing. The shapes all have to be exactly the same as they were at the beginning. And I can just keep repeating this as I slide my triangles over. In this pattern, we are not reflecting anything. We are not turning things over. We just slide, slide, slide. Our second type of freeze pattern is where we follow what the translation arrows tell us to do. If we look, here is our pattern. I have pink square, pink square, purple square, purple square. This is my pattern. The arrow up top says my next shape needs to be two squares over and two squares down. So let's take a look at this first little pink square. I have to do my next one two over and two down. So my next pink square will be right here. I can do the same thing with my purple square. One, two over, one, two down. So it'll be right here. And then of course I can kind of just look to be able to finish my pattern. And now I know it went two over and two down. I've repeated my pattern by translating like the arrow told me to. All right, time for you to try it in the workbook.